All right. Hi, everyone. We are going to be talking about lesson plans today. And lesson plans are so very important. Uh, as I said, they help in keeping your routines together. They help in the organizing of your day. And they are also important in stopping and controlling a lot of discipline problems, uh, as well as stop you from being so exhausted at the end of your day. Uh, a lot of family child care providers, whether you are um, at a family home daycare, whether you're at a center, whether you are a teacher, a lot of you go home exhausted at the end of the day. I used to be one of those types of teachers, but until I got organized, it was rough. And so I'm, today I'm going to give you samples of lesson plans, and I'm going to go from simple and show you some examples of how to fill them out up until um, a lot more creative. And you pick and choose which one you want to do. All right. And so I'm also going to talk a little bit about two of the curriculums that I use, one of which is Creative Curriculum and one is GWIZ Education, um, which is an online uh, curriculum. All right, so let's get started here. I'm going to take you over to the schedule. The schedule is what is really, really important, and it's going to help you stay organized throughout your day. And when you are creating your lesson plans, you want to keep your schedule in mind and make sure that you're adding in those things like diaper changes, pottying, washing hands, um, you know, lunch, breaks, all those types of things are very important. Um, and I even have something in here with setting the table because the children, we love to set the table. Uh, I'm also teaching them life skills at the family child care. And so you want to put those in your schedule as well. All right, so let's move over to a infant lesson plan. And the infant lesson plan will include music and movement, language, gross motor, fine motor, and character education. And yes, infants can have their le own lesson plans uh, because they need to have some structure and organization in their day as well. And so here is a sample of how that is filled out. And so I'm looking at Monday for music and movement and you have finger play um, and the song you'll sing is One Little, Too Little, right? And then for language, are, you have the book, Baby Faces, okay? And then for your gross motor, I see you, fine motor, hats on, hats off, and then your character education, soft hands. All right, so you can put a lot of different things in there that you want to do for your infants. Let's come over here to your toddler's twos lesson plan. Now, this is going to be a little bit more involved um, because the toddlers are growing into um, being able to sit up, uh, crawl. A lot of them are beginning to walk. And so you're going to have similar uh, planning for your toddlers. All right, and so you'll have literacy and language, um, music and movement, creative experiences, science and nature, and you'll have your gross motor activities. All right, and here is just a sample of how to fill this out. Okay, and you can do it by the week if you want to, which is fine. And so as you can see from Monday for literacy and language, Old McDonald had a farm. Okay, music and movement, the same thing. Creative experiences, which is, deals with individualized art experiences, which is very important for the toddler. So easel painting. And then you have your science and nature where they're working with potting soil at the water table. And you have your character education, caring for farm animals. And then your gross motor, um, which deals with a lot of your outdoor um, or sometimes your indoor activities, but they're going to gallop like horses. Okay. And then here's one. Okay. A lesson plan 
um, which is very similar. And this one, the theme is fruits and vegetables. Okay, the other one we looked at was farms. And you can see some of the things here for that. Now, when you're working with early childhood education, you want to create themes. Themes are um, really important because it gives children a chance to dive into a lot of the, the topics and the subjects. And here's a preschool for threes and for fours. All right. And so you may have some of the same things. And now you're adding in. Uh, you have your literacy and language, your art, music and movement, science and nature. But you see you've added your math and numbers in here, as well as your gross motor. All right. And so here is how you might fill this out. And this theme is fruits and vegetables. All right. And so for literacy and language, they did blueberries for Sal. Okay. For art is a collage with your favorite fruits music and movement. I like to eat apples and bananas for science and nature. Okay. Match whole fruits with commercial products like oranges or an orange juice. For math and numbers, count fruits and vegetables and match to the numeral. For character education, discuss your favorite fruits to bring to school for friendship, fruit salad, and for gross motor, play apple, apple, banana. All right, so let's move over here to another preschool for a lesson plan, and you'll see that's designed the same way. This one, you'll see, has to do with spring. And so for there, they have some similar things for literacy, I'm a seed, for art, sponge, startup, spring flowers on the bulletin board. For language, the carrot seed, plant a, plant a seed. For music and movement, rainbow song. And then for their science and nature, egg sound shakers, matching sounds, experiment. What do plants need to grow? And they're going to be doing that for the week. Okay. You see up top, you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right. So in math and numbers, they're going to be doing penny estimating. And then for character education, work together to create a spring bulletin board and then gross motor activities, bunny pokey. All right. So you want to create lesson planning around your schedule. OK, and you want to make sure that your activities are engaging and you want to make sure that you have a plan. Remember, that is the key for organizing your day. Okay, and this is VPK lesson plans, and this is a blank one, reading readiness, music and movement, math, art, gross motor science, literacy and books. And if you notice down the bottom, these lesson plans have a time for reflection. Okay, so what did the child learn or enjoy and what would you do differently? And that would be for you. So what would you do differently? The, the best laid out plans sometimes don't go as well as you think. They should go. And so you just have to um, take a look at your plans and see where you can make changes. And so for here, for reading readiness, make letters with Play-Doh. All right. And for music and movement, Old McDonald. For math, combining and separating. For art, discuss and paint pigs with mud. Gross motor, farmer in the dell. Science, discuss why do farm animals live on farms. Literacy and books, Big Red Barn. And then character education, how could we help the farmers? Okay, now let's come over here. We're getting into our older group, our preschool lesson plan. Okay, and here's a blank one. And if you'll see over here, you don't have the blocks that you had in your other lesson plan. All right, so you can actually write out what you want to do for your, your plans. And it's very similar in terms of your subject area or your activity. And here is one that is written out. Now we're still sticking to the theme, themes, and up here there's spring. 
But if you can see how it's written across here, so you may have a book that you're going to read each week, okay? And so you can just write all those in. You might be working on these things um, each week, okay? And then let's come over to this one. And this is Preschool 3 Summer Plan, all right? We do have summer coming up, so this is really important. Um, I've used this one several times. All right, so this one, if I'm going to zoom in here, you have your circle time, sign language, right? Questions of the day, morning activities, afternoon content area. So you have your language arts. Then you have your afternoon activities. And then you have your standards. And we know that a lot of what guides us in early childhood education on up to 12th grade are standards. And so you may want to put your standards in here so that you can refer to them or that if you're showing this to your um, director or your owner, you can say these are the standards that we're working on. And then you have your outdoor activity form, right? Foam, fish, and water on windows. And then down the bottom, classroom centers. And so the centers are something that the children work on independently um, after you have shown them how to work with them. So this one for writing center, dry erase boards and markers, okay? And the circle time gives the children a chance to work on things independently, okay? And so you can make your plans as elaborate as you want to, um, or as simple as you want to. Okay, here's one where you can write it out. All right. Learning unit title, give a descriptive title, background summary, summarize the unit in about 100 words. All right, so you can have something like this where you have questions for yourself, and you can just write those things in. And then you can have something with like this, all right, this gets a little bit more involved. Objective, the students will be able to, and that's what they're going to be able to do. You have your warm-up activities, your materials, resources, the time, your board plans, all right? So you can make these things as elaborate as you want to um, or as simple. It's totally up to you. And there are a lot of lesson planning websites that you can go to to really create nice lesson plans. Um, and I'll put some, a couple of them in the description box below. Okay. Some that I've used is Creative Curriculum for Family Child Care. And then there's also a Creative Curriculum program for Family Child Care um, for infants, preschool, they've separated them, but specifically for family child care. And this can be in conjunction with teaching strategies where they have their objectives for development and learning, uh, birth through third grade. And I use these quite often. Social, emotional, physical, language, cognitive, and then it goes on. Okay, literacy, mathematics, science and technology, social studies, the arts, English language acquisition. Okay, so there's an entire program designed for that. Um, because when you're looking at these objectives for development and learning, there's going to be some type of assessment that is done. Uh, and I talked a little bit about anecdotal notes in another video and um, where I mentioned the ASQ3. And you also just want to do some type of a daily report um, that you give to your parents so that they'll know what you worked on that day and some of the things that the children learned or what they liked best. And so that will also help them out uh, when they're home. I had a parent tell me that that they follow exactly what I do at home. And so that was um, really nice to hear that the parents were doing that, but it also gave 
them a lot of um, stability at home because we were actually a team and we were working together. And so those daily reports become very important. Another curriculum that I've used is GWIZ Education. Now this is online and the, the materials that you use with the GWIZ Education are um, usually around your home or they're very inexpensive. And so you can pick those things up and you can keep them and you can use them. That's what I like about GWIS. You can use all of these, a lot of these materials. And they also have um, online printouts that you can print if you need to use. And what is great about GWIS is that they already have their curriculum developed. And so each month there's two themes or two units. And they tell you specifically what's going to be in each unit. And it's from September. Uh, it goes all the way up to, to August, just like a regular school year. And so this is specifically for family child care. I love it. And then you can purchase a membership each month or you can do yearly. I believe it's maybe um, $18.95 per month now and which is pretty reasonable for all that you get. Um, and you'll get something like a printout of the materials list that you need for each day. Um, and if there's something that you need to make, they will tell you that as well. Um, you can go to their website. I'll leave that in the description box. And you can go on their website, take a look around and see what they have uh, to offer. It's amazing. And I really love that I've used it for years. I also write my own curriculum um, for each child. So that's a plus as well. If you can take a lesson planning course, or if you um, you know, really want to, to get into lesson planning, you can, um, you can do that. And at the center of all of this, um, I believe, using multiple intelligences to differentiate instruction. And so the multiple intelligences like linguistic, uh, listens to words, okay. Spatial is good with pictures, drawing and building and puzzles. Okay. Bodily kinesthetics, excels in athletics activities and have well-developed fine and gross motor skills. Music, enjoys music, rhyme, singing, and playing in instruments. Naturalist, enjoy being outdoors with animals and using natural materials. Logical, mathematical, enjoys puzzles, computers, games, problem solving. Interpersonal, very social, likes to be with other people, enjoys group activities. And interpersonal, was independent, um, content, to play and work alone, all right? And so when you are differentiating your learning, that means that you are helping children with their different learning styles. And you have to remember that when you're teaching. All of these plans that you have are no good unless you are helping each one of your learners to receive and understand the topic that you're trying to teach, all right? So this is just a little bit of lesson planning. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do that so that you can receive a lot more of the ideas, uh, see some of my examples, and just get a, a peek into uh, how I plan for my child care center. All right, so I will talk to you um, in the next video and take care.